Now let's work on a home screen component now, right? Then we'll be adding navigation and then we'll, uh, we will also be adding async storage with that is device storage. Yeah, now let's first work on home screen component. So I'll write a home.js like so. I will go to the search screen and I will copy some stuff. Let's copy this all stuff or maybe header as well. Control C and where is the home screen control? We like so. And let's here write a function const uh, const uh, home uh, home. Uh, this will be an arrow function, and we can return JSX and yeah. Okay, and let's return a for now view with some text home. Let's say okay. Now in this home screen, we'll be making use of, I'll be creating a state, I'll be creating a state, I'll give it a name of info and I'll update it with set info, info and this will be an initially an object, right, use a state, this will be initially an object, oh, like so, it will have couple of keys, let's say it will have a name and it will be initially equal to loading, right, okay. We can add like so. It will be initially equal to login. loading. Will it will have a temperature? So let's write temp, and initially this will be also a low, equal to loading. It will have humidity. H U M I D I T. Humidity. Initially this will also be loading, right? And we will have description D E S C, and this will be initially also equal to loading. And we'll have icon, and this will be equal to L O A D I N G as well. Okay, yeah. Now I'll be creating a function. Let's give it a name of maybe get weather. So I'll be creating a function uh, get w e a t h e r and assign this to an arrow function. So I'll be making a network request in here. Uh, I will use backtick instead, uh, which is in above tab key. And let's write uh, this URL along with me again. HTTPS colon slash slash api dot ope and open so we'll be making use of open weather map to give us a weather conditions open uh, w e a t h e r map map make sure your spelling is correct open w e a t h e r map dot o r g slash data slash two point 5 2.5 slash and then here I w e a t h e r weather and question mark and q and here we need to put a city name for now let's hard code this so let's write here maybe l o n d o n london l o n d o n london right okay so i'll hard code and now i'll add a n percent now you need to add your app ID. So you can write here, uh, press uh, caps lock and here write app A double P ID. Everything should be in capital, right? Now here you need to put your app ID in here, right? So I will go to this uh, open weather map and I will copy my uh, app ID. So you can create your account or you can log into your open weather map and you can generate uh, your API key in here, right? You can uh, put a name. Let's say I have put a here name of YouTube test and I have generated, right? So you can do that as it, it is free to do. Okay, so I'll paste it in here. Make sure you use your own key and then we need uh, the temperature maybe in Celsius, right? So for that, here in the end, we have we need to add one more thing that is end here. We need to write U N I T S units and that will be equal to. M E T R I C like so. Yeah. So this is a URL. So it's a kind of a long URL, right? Okay. But it's fine. It's fine. Okay. Yeah. So I will chain on then this returns us and promise. Uh, dot then and data. I will again pass that to oh not like that data dot json like again this will return as a promise so i'll catch that in another then and 
finally i will be getting results and for now i'll console.log inside now i will be calling this get with a function uh, as soon as this home screen boots up okay i will get rid of this so for that i'll be importing use effect hook right i want to call this for the very first time only one time when this home screen loads up right so here i can make use of this use effect hook right and in here i will be writing m empty dependency because i want to make this use state hook equivalent to component date mount or i can i just want to call this for the very first time right right not more than that okay so i'll be calling this get weather inside this get wea weather like so yeah so uh, we need to export that expert export de export uh default home like so yeah and i will save this right and instead of i will go to this app.js let's see if we used header inside the, in this home component or oh, we don't make use of header so i will be giving this view a flex of one first of all and i will be importing header inside in here right let's pass a name to this because we are receiving that name and i will be writing here w a t h e r weather app like so okay make sure w is capital or you can put small as well no no big deal okay let's save this and i will go to this app and i will comment this instead instead of that i'll be importing home from dot slash screen slash home and here we can make use of that like so let's save this and let me open up my console no this is not a console in here okay yeah okay so where is my screen so it is being loaded in here i will be reloading this right why the hell is this happening i will close this right and maybe again i can open this or should we kill our server and start that one more time yeah let's do that right yeah let's do that i will be getting rid of this only thing which need, we need to do is start your our development server so here i will be writing react npx react native start s t a r t because only we need to start uh, what we need to do is, is to only start the development server because we haven't installed any library so we don't need to perform linking right so we just need to start the development server i think let's reload this yeah it is doing some stuff Yes, this is the weather app, so we should wait for some time. And now here we can see we have got response in here. Okay, beautiful. So this is basically an object in here. So an object has, let's say, this temperature, right? So this is in Celsius. This has the name, right? City that is London. And let's see what all uh, things it has. Uh, this is this all present. Uh, this all is present inside the main, right? So the main is basically an object. You know, this is not readable form. Right, this is not in readable form. So uh, what I can do, I will press a Control M and I will uh, enable this debug. Right? Okay, I will enable this debugger. Uh, it is connecting to debugger. So for some reason, my debugger is not opening. Let's let's ignore. Okay. So what I want to show you is uh, we have this temperature and humidity inside this main. Right, and we have access to the description. This description. So basically, this is uh, basically an array. So we have uh, this access to this weather key. We have access to the description inside the weather key, and this is basically an array. And we have the array inside this array. We have this zeroth element inside that we can access that description, right? Okay. And where is the icon? Again, we have access to that icon inside this 
weather okay and we have access to the name uh, where is our name so we have access to that name where is name 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 oh we have access to name this is space cloud coordinate yeah latitude longitude TTID Yeah, here is our name. Okay, so name is basically an outside name is not inside this main main is starting from here and ending here So name you hear name is outside, right? Okay, so we will be updating state right right now We'll be updating our state. So as soon as we receive data We will be updating state so for that we can make use of the set info, right? and I will name is coming from name will be coming from uh, we can use this results R E S U L T S results and dot name right and then we have temperature temp and that was that that was available in main right so we'll be using results R E S results and inside that we have main and inside that we can make use of temperature like so and then we have humidity that in humidity was also present in the main right so here i'll be using this uh, results dot main dot h u m i d i t y like so and comma d as a description and this was present in a weather key and weather was an array right okay so let's again write results and then w e a t h yeah weather and this was an array so oh, in, in the first element we have access to description d e s c r i p t i o n like so oh i have made a typo in here d s c r i p t i o n make sure all spellings are correct and then finally we have icon i icon and that is also present uh inside this weather array so i'll copy this control c control v and icon okay so we need to display this all the data right so let's work for that so i'll be pulling the title from react native paper uh, yeah uh, i'll be pulling title right and i will get rid of this text instead i'll create a separate view right and in here i'll be using title and inside this i'll be uh, writing name so i'll i will access name from info info dot name initially this will be equal to loading right i will give a little bit style to this right maybe color of kind of a blue uh, hash o o a a F F and we maybe we'll be giving this a margin top M A R G I N T O P and that is equal to 30 and I will give a font size 20 S I Z E font size that is equal to 30 as well okay yeah and why I have put it this a uh, title in separate way because I want to uh, align the title and the image right that the icon of that so let's pull the image from react native right and uh, we'll be using that oh not this image right i will self close it and will be giving a little bit style to this right so let's give this a width of let's say 120 and height of 120 right yeah and we'll need to give this a source and uri now how we can add the uri uh, this image right this is a kind of a challenging thing right so it's quite easy just follow me right so here you can type http s colon slash slash o p e n w e a t h e r weather map 
dot org and slash img slash w slash now he, here you can concat plus uh, the name of the icon so that was info info dot icon right and now again you can concat the extension of the image let's say dot png like so now let's close this view and or let let it be open now after that view ends we'll be using the card component in here c uh, right and i will be adding a little bit style to this card component and margin maybe this will be a 5 and padding this will be 12 right inside this i'll be making use of title right and this title will be uh, let's first give this a style and i'll make this color of let's say blue right so yeah uh, so color will be of kind of blue for that we can write here uh, hash zero zero a a f f and in here we'll be writing let's say t e m p e r a t u you are a temperature and that will be coming from uh, info dot t e m p now what i will do i will duplicate this card couple of times i'll shift down key right two times and in here i can uh, i cannot uh, i can write here just a minus sign right just a minus sign and here i can write humidity right h u m i d i t y and that will be coming from info dot humidity and let's say description description and this will be coming from info dot desc like so i think this is it for now now we should save this component i have opened up my emulator we should save this component for some reason this emulator what happened to my app so i'll be opening my app again and i just restarted this a development server so i can now here make a reload in here right okay so it is doing some stuff so here we can see we initially have this loading we have this amazing icon temperature humidity description beautiful right we need to center this these two things for that we can center this out row wise for that we can use make of align items right so where is a image or this view instead yeah this view uh, i will add a style and in here i will be adding align items and center like so let's save this and now we are uh, seeing this on the center right now this margin top is, is not working because we have misspelled here we need to write here s t y l e instead let's save this and let's have a look so now we have this beautiful thing right so this was amazing right so next video we'll be making use of react navigation we'll be adding bottom tabs right okay and we will also be making use of async storage right so i'll see you guys in the next video